Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product Multiscale Deep Neural Network for Obstructive Sleep Apnea Deduction using RR Interval from Single Lead ECG Signal Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process The ECG is an important tool for the prediction of several diseases in human life Hence in this process we implement the machine learning for the classification framework hence which is previously trained on the general data set is transferred to carry out the automatic ECG diagnostic by classifying the patient ECGs into one corresponding cardiac conditions. On the other hand, the main focus of the process is to predict the abnormal signals by means of the simple and then easily efficient machine learning technique for the classification of selected signals from the dataset. Hence this process having the steps like the input, pre-process, feature extraction, classification and finally the performance. These are the models we have going for done to predict the ECG signals. Thus the result shows that the proposed method achieves to obtain the very high performance rates. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of the process. This is the overall working flow of this process. The overall working flow consists of the modules such as the input signal, then pre-processing, feature extraction, classification and finally performance. This is the modules we have done in this process. At first, the input signal is taken from the dataset. The dataset consists of both the signals of normal as well as the abnormal ECGs. After getting any one signal from the dataset, the pre-processing will be carried out. In this pre-processing, we have an two stages of pre-processing, that is the limiting the signal, then the another one as the noise filtering. Hence, in this limiting the signals, the length of the signals will be limited into one particular range. After that, the noise will be removed by using the filtering method. After the removal of the noise, the RR feature extractions will be carried out. RR is nothing but the RR intervals. After extracting the features like an RR, the feature extraction is done by using the another methods called PQRS as well as the 1D CNN. After the extraction of RR, PQRS, then 1D CNN, we just move on to the next step of the process is classification. So in this classification, we using the distance based classifier to classify whether the signal is the normal or abnormal. Hence, in the classification, we have a kind of inputs like test feature, train feature and target. The test feature is the feature of the input signal, the train feature is the feature of the whole data set and the labels having the label of whether it is a normal or abnormal. For example, it is a normal means it will be labeled as 1. For example, it is an abnormal means it will be labeled as a 2, like that it will be labeled. So during the classification, it will detect whether the signal is affected or not. After that, we just move on to the final stage of the process that is the performance estimation. In this performance estimation, we have three kinds of performance parameters that is the accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. Based on these three parameters, we can justify our processes efficient or not. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process. At first open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directory. If you want to execute the process, then right click in the main underscore GUI.em and select the option run. Now the initial GUI was open. In that GUI, we, you can see the several push buttons in the sequence of right side to controlling actions, several axes in the left side for just for the displaying purpose. At first click the button input signal. After clicking the button you have to open the data set and then select any one signal from the data set. After the selection of the signal from the data set, the corresponding signal will be shown in the axis 1 with the title input signal. After the selection of the first step, then we move to the second step that is the pre-processing. In this pre-processing, the signal will be limited as well as the it will be filtered. So, during the filtering, the peak will be changed. After applying the filtering, you have to detect the peak deduction. Hence, in this peak deduction process, the red color mark indicates the peak regions. Hence, this alone the peaks. After extracting the peak values from the 
corresponding signal we just move on to the next step of the feature extraction that is the QRS direction this is the result for the QRS direction hence the Q region then R and S regions will be detected by means of this one after extraction of the QRS we just move on to the third step of the feature extraction that is the RR interval hence the RR interval is extracted as well as the CNN will be plotted after the feature extraction each and every features will be concatenated now you have to click the button feature extraction now the each and every features will be concatenated and then displayed in this table after that we just move on to the classification step in this classification step it will be noted as whether the signal is normal means it will be shown as a normal signal or else it will be the abnormal means it will show the message box as an abnormal signal hence in this process it is having the normal so it is indicated as a normal signal after the classification step we just move on to the final step of the process that is the performance estimation now the performance values will be shown in the table for the accuracy sensitivity and specificity these are the performance we have estimated this will be in the form of percentage thanks for watching this video